He's finally here. Urek Mazino, one of the strongest beings in this verse has arrived. And he's just chilling in the fish. Because he needs the flower too for whatever reason. He also likes to call people baby. We're his babies. Does he want to be our daddy? I'm not sure. Also, I hear there's a... I heard there's a... What's it called? Some drama with Tower of God subs. I think I got the right corrected version, but like people are saying they're called Urek Mazno Emily. <laughs> Thank you, Crunchyroll, for the unexpected laughs. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, what the fuck is this soundtrack? Bro, I'm telling you, he just looks like Eminem slash fucking NL from One Piece. Look at him. <laughs> What kind of game? Let's get the flower before he does. Okay, okay baby. Yeah, I don't have to get the flower before he does. Okay, Okay. Nah. I, like, it doesn't matter if there's a hundred or a thousand. You have an elephant and you're trying to attack with ants. You need another elephant. Numbers, I don't think, will be enough to beat Mazino like that. No way. <laughs> Here comes the flip. Ooh, interesting combo. I mean, did we? You spent your whole lives in the tower? No, we didn't. Most of our lives were actually outside the tower before season one started, right? Does he realize that he's an irregular right now? I wonder. Like. Does Mazino know that Veal is an irregular? Can they just get that sense? Because I'm just thinking like these are two irregulars here. Maybe they have some sort of frequency that they're resonating off of. Who knows? Alright, I like that more. Yeah, surpass the tower. What exists outside the tower? Well, technically we were outside the tower, but he's talking about like beyond the fucking peak. What ex exists outside there? We're going to space! We're going into space, baby! Damn. I just need Rachel. Baby, no. Oh, you gave me the countdown. Nana. Lock. Sun. Eat. Let it rip. Game of Kaisa. Baby, Dama. Babies. That's so interesting how immediately we get to see his personality. Right? Of like how he sees the tower. People are so obsessed with climbing the tower and trying to be a king of the tower. But my man doesn't care. He sees something on another level. Fuck the tower. What exists beyond it? That's pretty cool characterization of Mazino right now. Now his nipple placements are a little off right now, but I can still respect his whole character. Veal though? Tower thrones, all that superficial shit. None of that shit matters, right? He just wants to have closure with what Rachel did to him. <laughs> Please! Triple wielding light houses. Oh, I just realized he's already in the devil form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horyang is literally already in the devil's right hand form. I'm not gonna do shit to Majino. You need at least an opera to stop me. I'm not sure what the term opera here is, but okay. Ah! Lighthouse is shattered. Oh, on, I'm done. Oh, also, bro is just flying. I, I, blow is, bro is levitating right now. I guess with Shinsu control, you can just fly. 
ちょっと何がどうなってんのいいからあの怪物を Not gonna do shit against them. The real match. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> Is this the way that Miseng dies? <laughs> Majino literally kills a baby. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He took that hit! He took that hit for me saying, and now Majino should realize what kind of character Viol is. <laughs> yeah, he looks dead. Yo, where's the Susano? Like, whatever, who cares? He didn't have a chance to activate Susano. <laughs> Yeah, he dead. You killed him. Hey, babies, come on. You're supposed to save him right now. I love how confident and cool he still is right now. Yeah, daddy. What? The flower? Oh, that's so nice of him. Now that this thing's been born. Because there's more than one source of the flower. And this thing was the one being chased. But the flower also exists over here. Okay. I guess everyone can win. Well, it's not just surviving, right? Because, like, we actually did land a hit here. There's a little mark on his face, which should be, like, a really profound thing if we got a land to hit on someone like, you know, Urek Majino. Yeah, his name is literally tatted on his back. Dude, imagine having your fucking name tatted on your back. He's literally a jersey, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> like, do they not know who he is? Does, does, does he not know who he is? Okay, you're gonna actually challenge Zurek Mazino? Okay, good luck. If it's not at least a thousand on one, I'll look like the one who isn't playing fair. Yeah. And again, I still feel like even if it's thousand, ten thousand, it doesn't matter. If you have ten thousand ants versus one elephant, you can't fucking fight. You need another elephant. <laughs> The kids get their nutrient from the flowers, so they've been picking them. Oh, so they were like all price fixing here and trying to make this shit so valuable. Equality, baby, let's go. <laughs> now we don't have to have certain people having complete control over, you know, the price of these flowers. Now, Majina will just let everyone fucking have it. What a great guy, bro. What an amazing guy, full of equality and inclusivity. Damn! Well, this is our first encounter with the Urek Majino of Tower of God. Giga Chad busted. His whole perception on what is valuable here, he looks beyond the tower when everyone is obsessed within the tower. He sees things in a different way. Even like the flower here, now everyone can have it rather than one specific group having it. And the powers that he just played earlier, pretty fucking amazing, right? I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this divine light, right? Maybe there's some sort of element of lightning infused. I saw some lightning particles, who really knows? I don't think Viol is dead, but the fact that, like, I wonder what happened here. Did, like, Urek, like, hold back? Because Viol obviously took the hit from Misang, but I wonder if, like, Urek held back. And if he didn't, and Viol survives this, that's a pretty amazing feat in itself. Viol also landed a hit just on Urek's face. I think Urek definitely respects Viol at this point. And later on, when Yuri told us, right, earlier on, sorry, when Yuri told us in Season 1 at the end, 
go to floor something uh, to find people. I think that was alluding to Urek Mazino. So like if Viol ever does reach that and Urek will be like, oh, you're that kid from before. And there'll be even more of a reason for them to be friends. I think that he's a pretty cool character. I'm just a little sad that like this part was like, it, ha it was too fast, you know? Like, Horian going all out immediately, yeah, you know, we got to see a lot of cool shit for a bit, but like, I want to, I want the whole, if the whole episode was the fight, maybe that's not the right way to do it, but it's just like, I wanted more of Urek Mazino, man, I wanted fucking more, but he's so cool, I wanted to see more of him, but I feel like he's gonna be a character like fucking Shanks in One Piece, where there's like little to no screen time, but the, they're inversely proportional to the amount of hype they get compared to the screen time. お疲れ様でした。ゆりに連絡してくれ。ゆり、ゆりに連絡してくれ。ゆり、ゆりに連絡してくれ。ゆり、ゆりに連絡してくれ。ゆり、ゆりに連絡してくれ。ゆり、
そんな男に今のお前たちがついていけるのか He probably can't. I'm not so sure about Misen and Kosen though. They're honestly such liabilities. Ignored. What the fuck? Prince is definitely getting a lot more cheeky. Before, he was on his best behavior, sucking up to everybody. Now that he's kind of gotten integrated with the team after the events with, you know, the first arc, his, his true nature is coming, kind of coming out more and more. Low-key? Low-key, even though Prince is being an idiot? I think, like... He is the voice of reason right now. Like while Wang Nan is like confused and you know, thinking of like what should we do? Should we keep going with them or not? Prince has no fucking clue. He just wants to climb the tower. But the things he's saying, like even if we know the dangers, you think we give a fuck? We're gonna just climb. それを知ったら俺たちが逃げ出すとでも思ったのか。お前俺様のことなんだと。でもビオレといたらまたウレックマジノみたいなのとやり合うことになるかもしれない。勝負に勝つことより仲間を選んだんだ。俺は勝負の問題じゃない。俺たちの覚悟の問題だ。Yes, Yuan needs to like separate. Fuck it. Just give up the 10 great clans. Like, if your source of pride in your existence is just to cloud off the 10 clans, maybe you don't need that. And right now, I think it's a perfect opportunity for her to distance herself from the Yun family name and be her own self. <laughs> Yeah, because you're objectively best girl of the show, but I'm sorry, Hwadian. Not every girl built like you. Damn. <laughs> I love Hwadian so much, bro. And again, last season, she didn't really have much personality. She just seemed like this, like, stoic, calm, mysterious person. Like, just going behind the scenes and setting shit up. Like this season, she's got so much personality. She's so like memeable and she's dishing out lines like this. Hwanyun, my favorite girl of the show, 100%. Look at him, Misang! Look, Misang, you did this! Your lack of power and resolve did this, Misang! <laughs> Young family cooking. I mean, this is better than I guess her being cooped up and bed rotting, right? She took Quadian's advice and decided to move forward. Ew. Burning shit up. Okay. New character development. We're good, we're good with that. You don't have to cook. But hey, this is a good uh, direction with Yua's, you know, character as she had too much, like, you know, clout off the Yun family and she's always trying to figure out like, oh, you know, I, I can't control my flames. What am I really? But now she has this like, goal of trying to correct the clans like mistakes. Maybe this is the right path or maybe <laughs> she's still going to be fucking worst girl of the season. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Better than her just bed rotting. <laughs> You're making me sing. <laughs> How bad is the cooking if me sings fucking cried over this, bro? She just got over the crying after seeing Beale. You're just making her cry more. Prince. <laughs> 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 Like, how is it possible to fuck this up? You're not even using your fire powers to cook. You're turning on a fucking stove. What are you doing? <laughs> means you have no control. Jinsung. Oh. 
お待たせしちゃって。Alright, the answer. <laughs> oh my. Ore t a c h a ore t a c h no me. Hey, he actually cares about his health. You know, suck on this instead. <laughs> oh my. Ore t a c h a ore t a c h no me to eat cotonishmas. We just want to be with the. Ore t a c h a mezas me to this. Let's go. Motron, Biore Motre, ah, Bamishi. Atos Kosnan de Tabe de Kasine. Dinner has been ready. It's all fucking burnt up. Not thanks. I'm good. Oh no! Karaka mentioned! Slayer! What the fuck is this design? So, this is the actual Slayer from Fu, Karaka. Master, Jin Sung trained him too! Talking to me? It looked like he was talking to us there for a second, huh? <laughs> Felt like he broke the fourth wall looking at the cameraman for a second because there's no one here right now. When he says the weapon, I wonder if they're referring to Viol if there's like an actual weapon. Yeah, it's Viol. I wonder how many people are gonna take Jin Sung's side. Because what Karaka said may be the most optimal way to get the results, but obviously Jin Sung cares about Viol more than him just being a slayer. I think that Jin Sung is actually doing a lot of defense for Viol rather than being this like cutthroat, ruthless person. Oh, yeah, there's the ring. Yep, there's the second ring. Okay, so in the opening visuals today, we saw two rings of Zahad. One actually was shown with the eyes of Zahad, the others. We didn't see it, but maybe it's just shown in the back and it didn't rotate. So Karaka has another ring. Wang Nan has a ring. Who is the real Prince Zahad? Maybe there's two Princes Zahad. Who knows? Okay, Jin Sung Lord. No, I think that. You are getting caught up in emotions. Like, if you truly wanted to be this, like, brutal, cold, calculating guy, you wouldn't give Veal this much freedom. I think that Jin Sung actually is doing a lot more things for Veal that Fug probably doesn't want to happen. More I think he's capping. He's lying. It's multiple other slayers. Nah. Okay, so this is a mask. I don't know what he's hiding, but damn, you don't trust your sensei, huh? Sensei, you know, this... The fuck does just seem like a cult, right? And it's just like, if you're not part of the hive mind, I don't trust you. You're kind of being sus right now, sensei. Hmm. Alright, we got spies on us now. Pokken. My lord? Kamio? My god? <laughs> okay. This Karaka guy seems like he is just exactly what Fug wants. Just absolute no emotions, just all for the sake of the goal of killing King Zahad. But he is not the weapon to kill Zahad. It's bomb. There's multiple slayers, there's multiple elders. The political hierarchy is made up of them. Jin Sung is slowly. I think he's already lost her trust based on what Karaka's saying. Jin Sung is being too soft with Veal. But it's a good thing for Veal's humanity. But in terms of what Fug wants, it's probably not what Jin Sung is doing that looks very really good on him. So, okay, we got some spies on us now. Also, he is maybe second Princess Ahad. We saw the red ring on his finger there. <laughs> Horyang cooking in his fucking Kuma Bear apron is so cute and it's pink too. What the fuck? She's a nurse now? 
オッケー。ペオリオージ。ペオリに協力するとか言ってたけど、具体的な方法とかあるのかな。松になるんじゃないかって。心配すんな。方法ならあるそうだ。おう。らしい。は?は?ただ道は必ずあるんだってよ。オ
has another red ring on his finger. And we saw in the opening today, when we were looking at the visuals, there's two rings of Zahad, presumably. Now, the other ring, we didn't get to see a full rotation. Therefore, we didn't get to see the eyes of Zahad there. But who knows what's going on there. And Hwaryun calls Wangnan, Prince of the Red Light District. That's different from Princess Zahad. But maybe Red Light District is alluding to something associated with Zahad? I'm not too sure. And now, we're getting set up for a new arc. And what is that? The workshop battle. Every five years, E-Ranks gather to compete for valuable items made from the workshop. And what? Is everyone going to go there? Blue Turtles team? Chibisu's team? Our team? It's looking like we're getting geared up to a really hype shit. And I hope to God they don't like make this happen in like season three or four. It has to be the next arc, right? That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, uh, take care.